So this is another fairly straightforward exponentials and logs question. Um, give it a go first, and then if you get stuck on anything, then, then look through the video. So it says, by taking logarithms of both sides, solve the equation 4 to the power of 3p minus 1 is equal to 5 to the power of 210. And it wants us to give the value of p to one decimal place. Um, all right, so we want to take logs of both sides. So then you want to think about what kind of base would we have to use? We have a few different options. Uh, we could just use log to the base 10 as one of our options, um, which can also just be written as just log of whatever. Um, that's one option. Uh, we can also use log to the base 4. So we have a couple of different options. We can. I'm going to start with actually the log to the base 4 option. So if we do log to the base 4 of 4 to the power of 3p minus 1 is equal to log to the base 4 of 5 to the power of 210. So the reason log to the base 4 is useful is because of this rule. If you have, I'll put in a different color, if you have log to the base of a of a to the power of x, this is the same thing as just x. So in other words, the log to the base a and the a that we have here, they cancel out. And the reason for that is because they're inverse operations. So if you were to have f of x being, let's say, a to the power of x, so that does something to x. So a to the power of x does something to x. It changes what x is into some other number. And the inverse of this, so f minus 1, x, the inverse of this would be log to the base a of x. So what that basically means is whatever a, when, when, whenever you have x as a power of a, so a to the power of x, whatever that does to x, this does the opposite. So like a very simple example of that is if you were to have, let's say, uh, I'll give it a different letter this time, let's say g of x. So another example could be g of x is equal to, let's say, 2x. So this function multiplies our x value by 2. The inverse of that, this is quite straightforward, would just be x over 2. Um, as, so you can probably see how these two are inverses of each other. One doubles, one halves, they do the opposite thing. Um, and that's the same thing with how logs work. So a to the power of x, the inverse of that is log to the base a. So that's why log to the base 4 of 4 uh, to the power of 3p minus 1 will then just give you 3p minus 1 on the left. That's just using this rule here. So left-hand side becomes 3p minus 1. The right-hand side, we can, well, let's just keep it as it is for now. So uh, you, you may run into some trouble here because if you were to put this in your calculator to get it as a decimal, or if you were to, let's say, rearrange it for p first and then put it in your calculator, this part here, you wouldn't be able to get a result. You'll get a math error. And the reason for that is because 5 to the power of 210 is too big of a number for you to be able to uh, compute in your calculator. So then um, we want to find some other way of dealing with this uh, right-hand side. And one way we can do that is by using the uh, power law, which is this. If we were to have log to log of, log to the base of, well, it doesn't need, it needs to be a base, let's just say log, so base 10. Log of a to the power of x, if we have this, another way that we can write this is x log a. So whatever your power is, you can take that to the front. So we can then use that here, and the right-hand side will then become 210 log to the base 4 of 5. And on the left-hand side, that stays the same, 3p minus 1. And now, so th this we can now work out, because we're not doing 5 to the power of 210. Um, so we don't have this massive number that our calculator has to work out. So we should be able to type this into our calculator. Let's not do that now, though. Let's uh, first rearrange it. So we now rearrange for p. This should be straightforward. So this is all just one term. They're all, this is, these two things are multiplied by one another. So we can add the one over. We then end up with 210 
log to the base 4 of 5 plus 1. And then finally we divide by 3. So 210 log to the base 4 of 5 plus 1. So again, remember this is one term as opposed to it being 5 plus 1. And then that whole thing divided by 3. And if we type that into our calculator, we get our answer, which is 81.6. So then the other way that you would do this is then to take log to the base 10 of both sides. That was why I uh, showed in the beginning. So let's also do it that way, just so you can see exactly how that works. Um, so, right, so we have four to the power of three P minus one is equal to five to the power of two 10. Um, we're taking log to the base 10 of both sides. So this then becomes log of four to the power of three P minus one is equal to log of five to the power of two ten. So we're trying to rearrange for P. So then we can't cancel out the log and the four like we did before because the base is different to what we had earlier. So as the base is not the same thing as the number that we have here, we can't cancel the two things out or cancel the log and the number four out. And that's actually the reason why I prefer the previous method as opposed to this one. What we could do then is we could use the power law. So then the left hand side will now become 3p minus 1. That's the whole power to 4. So all of that then just goes in front. So the 3p minus 1 goes in front. All of that put in brackets is then multiplied by log of 4. And the right hand side as well, we have to bring the 2 10 out. For the reasons we mentioned earlier, we can't do 5 to the power of 210 in our calculator. So the right-hand side becomes 210 log of 5. So now you want to rearrange this for P. So then the first thing to do would be to divide both sides by log 4. So this then becomes 3P minus 1 is equal to 210 log 5 all over log 4. And now it's pretty straightforward. Add 1 to both sides, so 210 log 5 all over log 4 plus 1. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. So I'll actually just put a third in front, a third of this whole thing of 210 log 5 plus 1 and this first bit over log four, and then close bracket. So then type this in your calculator, you'll get the exact same thing, 81.6. So you see how the rearranging in this method is a bit more complex because you have to bring down this power of three P minus one. Uh, in the first method, you didn't have to do that. The, the log to the base four and the four just canceled out straight away. And then once you're at this stage, you can then just rearrange for uh, P.